If you've been following me at all, you know that I ride a pretty good variety of trails. But lately I've been on the hunt for trail systems that are progressive. And there is one trail system, one park in particular, down in Birmingham, Alabama, called Ride BHM. Now I call this place the hidden gem of the South because it doesn't have a ton of acres, but it has 20 trails currently, and it's packed full of features, even the XC trails. I hadn't been there in about a year and a half, so I decided to take my son down there recently and see what all they have to offer now. It's, they've added some trails, they've updated some trails, and there's actually one trail down there. It's a flow jump trail that I've really wanted to conquer. But before I get ahead of myself, let's get into the video and let's see what Ride BHM is all about. We got right. to the park and we were immediately met up with Shane Richardson, who yeah. has his own yeah. channel. It's Shane Rides MTB, both on Instagram what? and YouTube. And Greg Thoreau, both these guys are local natives. So they I don't care. know about yeah. the Alabama scene a little bit more than I do. And Shane was gracious yeah, enough to show really us around, horrible. show me a little bit about what's new yeah. and what's updated. Yeah, very no, thankful that they were able to join us in the morning. I need to master this step up. Right. I've I've hit it and Can like landed know? on top of it. Can be honest with you? Yeah. It's the easiest jump on the trail that's just the most intimidating. Right, yeah. All right. Okay, first up is a new trail that I haven't ridden. It's called Raccoon Smack. It's a green trail. And you get there by taking the Never Never Land XC loop first and it branches to the right from there. Now I have to say, this, even though it's rated green, it's got some pretty good elevation drop and some decent features. I was a little bit surprised to say the least as soon as we dropped in. Man, that's a green? That's a green. <laughs> and, um, that is crazy. But now we're on the end of the Never Never Land. Or okay. SC. It just forked in right there behind Greg. Gotcha. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. That was fun. That's a, that's a lot of fun. Trail. I love it, man. Yeah. That's it's crazy. It's a longer run than most. Right. Yeah. After that, we went back to the top and took a trail that I already knew about and I totally loved. Punch and Drift. This is a black rated trail. It's got some tricky stuff to it, but a lot of fun. You can really get some speed on this. It's got some little tricky spots. You know where they are, but yeah, a lot of fun. Drops, jumps. If you love a mix of flow and enduro, a little techie stuff, then this is a perfect trail for you. Ugh. That hurt. Next, we decided to hit Never Never Land XC Loop. This is actually a blue loop. And it has some some surprises. 
which I was anxious to try out. I never did this loop before. It, it wasn't really there the last time I was at the park. You get some pretty decent speed, and there's some steep shoots that Shane told me about that I definitely wanted to hit. <laughs> okay. Yeah. What's that? There's a root right at, right when you get to the bottom of it. Oh, okay. Should I cut inward? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Oh, yep, that's it. <laughs> that's fun. You got this one, and then there's a, a little up, and then a, a shorter. But I think the shorter one, it has more of a compression into like a creek bottom. They put rocks in. Okay. Wait. I think I'm just gonna go yeah, that's all right. Around. That's all, all right. right. Take this one around. Like when we get through that last hit, we'll go yeah. that way, and then it ties back in somewhere okay. over there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was easy. Yeah. That was easier than the other two. <laughs> yeah. Overall, this XC loop really surprised me. It was a lot of fun. Again, you could get some really good speed on it. These steep shoots are optional, but either way, you're gonna have a lot of fun on it. It's a good break from the other trails that are at the park. All right, guys, I wanna pause real quick and talk about Lone Pass. Lone Pass is your access to over 40 destinations, bike parks, and shuttle service places around the United States, and it's constantly growing. I have about five places around me alone. No matter where you are, Pretty sure there's some places, some bike parks and destination places that you can use this Lone Pass at. If you wanna check out more, click the link below and that'll take you right to the Lone Pass website. Get all the information. Right now, it's about $250 for a pass at the time of this recording. Normally it's 300, so now's the time to jump on this. You get about two visits per park per year and totally worth it. So if you go to a bike park or a use a shuttle uh, shuttle service at least at least a handful of times a year, then this is perfect for you. So click that link below, go to Lone Pass, check things out, considering picking up a pass today, you won't regret it. Another new trail that I was looking forward to trying was Shake and Bake. This is a blue trail, not as difficult as Punch and Drift, but still a lot of fun, still some good elevation drop. Very hand cut, very raw, with a nice surprise. Well, I won't say if it's a nice surprise, but there is a surprise about two thirds of the way down. A rock garden that, uh, if you don't know it's there, it's gonna it's gonna rattle you a little bit. Oh. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Woo. Tight. All right, next up is Canuga. Canuga is a blue flow jump trail. 
And this is the trail I was talking about when I introed the video. This was the trail that I really wanted to conquer. It is a fast trail. A lot of it, you really just need to carry some good speed to clear everything. It's not incredibly difficult, but me, myself, I'm still trying to get used to speed on jump trails. It's something that is not comfortable for me and I need to get used to. So this was the one trail that I needed to, for myself, needed to see if I could clear everything. So this this is the first run though. Shane is leading us down. Uh, my son, Rowan, I don't think ever ridden this trail. So he wanted to try it out. And I don't, I don't think Greg ever ridden it either. So, but there's a big step up at the very end that always freaked me out. And so following Shane on this first run was nice because I got a kind of a good idea of what to expect hitting this step up at the end. Ah! <laughs> I shorted it. Now, knowing I wasn't satisfied, I said, hey, let's, let's go back at the top and let's session some of this and, and see if I can get comfortable and nail this step up. Didn't clear it as much, but I still got over it. I went a little slower that time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the trick. Just don't feather. Well, I just I went a little faster too. <laughs> Man, it was so good to finally clear that step up and finally get that out of my head. Now, before Shane had to leave, because he only had a few hours that morning, we decided to pedal up the other side and we wanted to hit Hematite. Hematite is a blue trail. It has some raw elements, some flow elements, some tech elements, and it's a little untamed, I will admit, but it was a lot, it's a lot of fun. I love the little drops the little booters, the little catchy moments. It's got some compression. It's just a lot of fun. It's not very long, so it's one you can definitely do over and over. Definitely want to check out Hematite. What's also good is it kind of dumps you into the free ride area, kind of where you pedal in. So you can always just hit those at the end. <laughs> What's cool, which I really love, is this little free ride area. This little, this part right here, keep in session many times over. There's a couple of drops, there's rollers, step ups, you can just, Send it over and over. It's a lot of fun to just practice. So this first one, take the smaller drop. Pretty simple. If you're not used to big drops, that's a good one just to kind of get acclimated to. a little bit better. And there's these step ups. Those are nice. You're not used to step ups. That's a good one to, to hit. Very little consequence if you, if you case it, it's not a big deal. Land just over the knuckle. There's a little bit easier one to the right. We'll do come in here. Yeah, a lot of fun. It's a great little little trials area. Good way to work on your skills. While I was yeah, trying out the free ride area, I ran into these guys that I could it's tell. Good 
We're more huh? XC oriented guys. Get it out of your head. And Get it out of your head. we're a little apprehensive about hitting some of these jumps on the free ride area. So I was giving them a little pep talk and even followed them in on a run. So good. I got to say, I am amazed by the growth of this channel. I really appreciate all of you who have subscribed, who follow, whether it's here on Instagram, have left comments, asked questions, have even said hi when you see me out on the trail. I mean, I'm just blown away by just the support that you guys have given me and I really appreciate it. And I just wanna say, if you're not already subscribed to this channel, please consider that. If this is all about getting on a bike, staying on a bike in your midlife, learning new things, experiencing new places, all that stuff so hit that subscribe button and that bell notification if that's you and come along for the journey if you like this video hit a thumbs up i greatly appreciate it share it and yeah i just want to say thanks so let's get back to the video yeah local flow got these small little gaps these little jumps you can easily scrub Ooh. Make a left hand turn here. Haha, <laughs> it's fine. You got these little rollers you can jump, berms you can practice on. Little kicker. Yeah. Ooh. Rollers, great to just pump. That's berms. Table. And more berms to practice. Last table. Oh, no more. One more. Oh, one more. <laughs> and we're at the bottom. Okay, next up is Eureka. Now there's actually two sections. There's an upper Eureka, lower Eureka. Upper Eureka is a blue slash blue black. A little bit more difficult than, than say, Kanuga. I like to do this combo of upper Eureka into Birmingham. Upper Eureka is obtainable. I still have to work at it. I don't think I hit these as well as I wanted, but I just really like this combo. Oh, not hitting these good. Birmingham is exactly what you would think. A lot of great berms. It's fun to just get used to some of these larger berms. They have jumps, little hip jumps, shark fins, some doubles. It's a really good time. Ah, right about that one. Ah. Woo. That was way different than I remember. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> Upper carpenter. I don't remember much about this one. Whoa. <laughs> I didn't have a speed for that. 
Yeah, that's what I remember. This is tricky. And there's this ramp. I'm not gonna ride. This is weird. Oh, very weird. Oh, you have to get up high on that. Now I remember. Oh, this is why you pre-ride, ladies and gentlemen. Pre-ride. Lower. This is crazy. I'm not doing that. Okay, I'm gonna come up here to the free ride area. And I'm gonna... In my day, or in that trail. That one's trickier than I remember. <laughs> yeah, you gotta, there's things you gotta really commit to. So as we're climbing up to All hit right. some trails over again, my son off camera right. voiced to me that he really Speed. wants to try and master Canuga, which All I right. was super stoked about, a little worried about, but I said, you know what, let's just try it. So we pedaled up and dropped into Canuga to see what he can do. Okay. Holy cow. Did amazingly well. That's <laughs> the last run. Right. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do it again. The after day that. was ending and we had one more run in All us, right. so we decided to go back yeah, up. Yeah. We ran into Alvin, right. who was going to ride down with us. All right. It was a great way to end <laughs> this trip to ride BHM. Yeah. Cleared everything, baby. Let's go. Nice. That was Woo! awesome, guys. That's what we end on. All right, guys, there you have it. That is Ride BHM, such a great place to progress. Felt so good to conquer Canuga, I can't tell you. And even just looking at the footage, I'm like, I think I can even do that better. That's what's awesome about this place whether it's the jump trails, whether it's the enduro trails. I didn't even show you the big, huge jump lines they have because it's not even something I'm gonna attempt right now, but they do. They have bigger jumps. It's a great place to go, whether you're a beginner, intermediate, advanced, pro, it doesn't matter. You're gonna have fun. It's not a huge climb, not a huge elevation to get up. 
And if you're on an e-bike, it's even better because you can just stay at that place and just do everything. Hit up Ride BHM if you're in the area, it's southeast at all. It's a hidden gem of the south. You will love it, I guarantee it. So as always, I'm gonna leave you with this that I always say at the end, live, learn, and send it. It's never too late to start. We'll see you guys on the next video.